بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم dear student and friend this is Nasir Ali student how are you I hope you will find student you should know that due to coronavirus pandemic every educational institute or all educational institute in Pakistan were closed so therefore we people decided to arrange some online classes for you so today I am going to start human anatomy which is a very important and which is a very vital subject of medical student so let's start the class so in today's lecture we will start chapter number one basic anatomy in today's lecture we will discuss what is the meaning of anatomy how to define anatomy and how to define the major branches of anatomy or what is the branches of anatomy so let's proceed the classes so the first one is anatomy So what is the meaning of anatomy? So anatomy is derived from a Greek word anatom which means cutting off or dissection. Derived from a Greek word. A Greek word. Anatomy, which means cutting off or dissection, cutting off or dissection. The word anatomy is derived from a Greek word anatom, which means cutting up or dissection. Anatomy is a Greek word while dissection is a Latin word. It is a Latin word. In dissection may be equal to anatomy, but but a dissection is not the synonym of anatomy. Why? Because dissection is a mere technique, while anatomy is a wide field of study so therefore dissection is not synonym to anatomy so this is the meaning of anatomy now moving toward the definition of anatomy definition of anatomy how we can define anatomy so anatomy is the it is the branch branch of medical science medical science related related to the study of internal structure of the body structure of the body how we can define anatomy it is the branch of medical science related to the study of internal structure of the body so this is the definition of anatomy how we can define anatomy anatomy is the branch of medical science in which we which is related to the study of internal structure of the body so in first step we study meaning of anatomy in second step we study definition of anatomy so anatomy is derived from a greek word anatom which means cutting up or dissection anatomy is a greek word while dissection is a latin word a dissection is it may be equal to anatomy but not synonym to anatomy why because dissection is a mere technique why anatomy is a wide field of study so this is the meaning and definition of anatomy now moving toward the branches of anatomy branch of So there are two main branches of anatomy. Two main branches. 
two main branches. The first one is my microscopic anatomy or gross anatomy and the second one is microscopic anatomy. The first one is gross anatomy. Gross anatomy or microscopic anatomy. It is the branch of anatomy in which we study those things which are seen through normal human eye or which can be seen through the human naked eye. So this branch of anatomy is called gross anatomy. Branch of anatomy related to the study of those things which can be seen through normal human eye. So this branch of anatomy is called gross anatomy. Gross anatomy is also called microscopic anatomy. Gross anatomy is further divided into two branches. The first one is divided into two branches. The first one is regional anatomy. Regional anatomy and the second one is systemic anatomy. Systemic anatomy. The branch of gross anatomy in which we study a specified region is called regional anatomy. In the regional anatomy, we study a specified region. A specified region. The branch of gross anatomy in which we study a specified region is called regional anatomy. Like skull region, skull region, like lumbar region, lumbar region like iliac region, like hypochondriac region, like umbilical region, etc. So the branch of grass anatomy in which we study a specified region is called regional anatomy. And the second one is systemic anatomy. In systemic anatomy, we study a specified system like CVS system, like digestive system, like urinary system, like respiratory system. So in systemic anatomy, we study a specified a specified system. So this branch of anatomy is called systemic anatomy in which we study a specified system like like CVS system, cardiovascular system, urinary system, urinary system, Digestive system, respiratory system, etc. So this branch of anatomy is called systemic anatomy. And the next one of in the next branch of anatomy is called microscopic anatomy. The next one is next one is microscopic anatomy. What is microscopic anatomy? So the branch of anatomy in which we study those things which can be not, which cannot be seen through the human eye and can be seen through a microscope. So this branch of anatomy is called microscopic anatomy. Branch of anatomy. Branch of anatomy. 
in which we study those things which cannot be seen through human eye and can be seen through microscope. Branch of anatomy related to the study of those things which can be seen can be seen through microscope so this branch of anatomy is called microscopic anatomy Microscopic anatomy is further divided into two branches. The first one is cytology and the second one is histology. And the second one is histology. So cytology is a branch of microscopic anatomy in which we study cell. It's called cytology. And the next one is histology. Histology is the branch of microscopic anatomy in which we study tissue. So this branch of anatomy, this branch of microscopic anatomy is called histology. So this is the first lecture of uh, human anatomy. I hope you will better understand. If uh, someone has any question regarding today's lecture, so he can uh, ask in comment section or WhatsApp me on my WhatsApp number, which can, which you can be seen on your screen. So thank you once again. Thank you. So